we're going to make use of the working file international customers which is a database in your working folder it has a single table tbl customers inside which there are many customers 18,508 to be precise sometimes we want to select unique values if for example in this list of 18,500 people I want to find all the unique states and provinces because they're repeated people do live in the same place well in order to do that I would go to create query based on my customers table and I pick on the field that I want the unique values for state province name and I run the query because I'm selecting the data from every single customer's state and province name which is the 18,508 to make that now restrict itself to unique values I can do one of two things in design I can change the properties for the query so I click into this gray area here if you have the property sheet already open that will then give you the query properties if you don't already have the property sheet open then I click in here right click and choose properties and you can see it gives me the property sheet for the field list properties so I need to click again into the gray area to get the query properties I can then change the unique values here from no to yes and rerun the query and that then gives me the unique values in the state province name and you'll see that there are 54 so there aren't 18,500 unique state province names in my data there are just 54 so that's one way of doing it let's save that query QRY unique province names okay and then close exploring the data again I could see that I may want to do exactly the same perhaps for the country regions find out all the unique country regions so I go again to create query design based on my customers table choose the column that I want the unique value for the country region name view and I know again I'm going to get my 18,000 this time to restrict it to the unique values instead of going into design and changing the value in the property sheet on the right we're actually going to do it in the SQL so up here on the left we go view SQL view there's my SQL select customers country region name from TBL customers I simply put the word distinct in between the select statement and the fields that I'm trying to select and then I view and I get the unique countries and there are only six so my whole data set of 18,000 people belongs to six countries so let's do a save as on that qry unique countries so the sql keyword is distinct but effectively it's returning you the unique values so you can do it in one of two ways either in the properties for the query and choose yes in the unique values or in the sql and add in the keyword distinct between the select and the actual fields in both our examples we've used a single field but you can use multiple fields and use the same option distinct or unique in the properties and where the two or three fields then match to be unique are the values that get returned for example in here if I now add in the state province name so I have two columns then they must be unique as a pairing to be listed out separately so there are 54 unique pairings of the country and the state province so that way our country actually gets repeated for each of the unique provinces within each country is then listed so there's nothing to stop you using multiple fields and then the distinct keyword or the unique property